What's going on, Collective? How is everybody doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Moves Motivational Tarot. Let's do a quick energy check. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Thank you so much uh, for leaving a like if this resonates with you. I do apologize for the noise, but it's beautiful outside and I got the wind blowing. So anyways, for my supporters, my ace ones from day one, thank you for all of your support. Thank you for the comments as well as the likes and shares. Hit that notification bell, guys, so you know when I upload. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you for the divine protection over me and collective as above, so below. Let's go. All right, so let's see what Spirit want to say. Real quick reading, nothing big. All right, Spirit, what is the current energy for my collectives this week? Please and thank you. Current energy for my collectives this week. Please and thank you. Current energy. All right, those bouts. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I knew it because it felt, you know, like aggressive. Okay, so somebody's really um, going through some internal conflict, right? Really trying to figure something out. Okay, and um, Spirit wants to let you know that there is some type of clarity coming in for you. Um, Spirit, what is hidden that's coming to, to light? What is coming to light? See, we have the emperor. I love this because this lets me know that you're about to make some boss moves. Okay, or somebody's definitely looking at you or coming in with some type of strategic opportunity. I can't make it up with the ten of coins. Okay, so something's definitely growing. Okay, and it's very stable and grounded. All right, spirit, what is the potential outcome? All right, Queen of Coins. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Bottom of the deck, making a decision. So this conflict, what about this Five of Wands? Okay, what is this conflict? I really do feel that way, especially with the Hermit Spirit. What is the conflict? Please and thank you. Seven of Wands. Wow. So you got five and seven, which breaks down to the number 12. So the three of Wands. Okay. Um, all right. So somebody's definitely trying to... I feel like you're conflicted whether you should make a move or should you wait. Right? You're not sure. What is this uh, Seven of Wands with the Five of Wands? Wow, right on top, money. All right, so your money funny, okay? So that's the conflict. You want to do something, but you don't have the funds to do it. Oh, excuse me, sorry. So what is the clarity that comes through? How do you deal with this situation that's at hand? Spirit, can we clarify, please, and thank you? All right, you're going to take a chance. You're going to take a risk. You're going to go for it even though you don't have it or somebody's going, I don't know. What is this fool? What is this uh, beginning? Taking a leap of faith. I love it, though. That When you, when you want to prove to the universe that you believe in whatever it is that you're supposed to do, the universe is saying we backing you up, especially with this Ten of Coins and this Emperor. Okay? You're really looking at how you can go about doing this. And I feel like you found a way. What is this way? What is this emperor way? Okay. Please and thank you. Thank you, spirit. We have the five of swords. You're doing whatever the fuck you got to do to make that shit happen. I don't know. Let's talk about it. One more. Thank you, spirit. We got two. What I say? King of Wands energy. That's just like the dad. The daddy of the deck is the emperor. And the son of the deck is the king of wands when it comes to making moves. Oh, my God. Like, you just moving. Whatever you're going to do and however you're doing it, it's going to cause a huge what is it called spirit it's going to cause like this huge um sudden change of events like 
whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're going towards, how, this risk that you're taking, I feel like the universe is backing you up, especially with the King of Wands and the Tower, right? Making shit happen, okay? Whatever you're going to do, just show the fuck up. I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, you are Emperor. You know that all I have to do is just get there. All I have to do is show up. And the universe is backing me up. What is this Ten of Coins that's being backed up? What is this? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Two of Wands back out here. So something you definitely are making a decision. You're just showing up like, I'm going to choose what I want. I'm going to choose who I want. What is this Two of Wands? Because you had the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands, which is Three of Wands. Now you got the Two of Wands. So that lets me know that not only did you expect it to come towards you, but you realize you had to make forward movement. You have to go towards this, okay? And you got to be real quiet about it, real strategic, okay? Yeah. All right? Oh, goodness. So let's talk about the Seven of Wands. What is this seven of wands, spirit? Wow, y'all. You got the seven of wands with the six of swords, okay? Um, so you're really strategically moving towards something. And you have the five of cups. So, you know, whatever sacrifices you had to take to go through this, you're willing to take those sacrifices. You ain't got time to be crying over spilled milk. You're moving forward, okay? Quietly. With the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you know, um, that's 13 Swords, okay? So that's the Four of Swords, right? Getting that clarity to move forward and trust your intuition. Trust, you know, the decision. That, trust in yourself, right? Yeah, trust in yourself with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. You got to trust yourself and be quiet. You see the sharks at the bottom? Walking right by the motherfuckers, okay? You're being led by spirit towards this queen of coins. And I feel like this is a very strong, stable, grounded offer. Connecting with somebody that sees you as the potential um, partner, business partner, okay? So this person knows how to sit back and collect coins. This person is living a good life. This person is peaceful, happy, successful, and and you you you're like you know this I don't know somebody sees you that way you could be the queen of coins. Thank you, spirit. One more. What is this? Oh, queen of coins. Okay, didn't I say three of wands? This is what this is about. So somebody is coming either towards you, which I really do feel like with the nine of coins, okay? Somebody's definitely coming towards you. They got some type of opportunity that was handed to them through work because you got the eight of coins and the nine of coins, all right? So this person is coming in towards you. or Yeah, I feel like this person is moving forward, right? Moving forward, making the plans to come towards you with the eight of coins, right? They want to come in and hand you something that's going to be very prosperous. They see you as, and this is going to put you in a position to be abundant, sit back and be at peace. This could be a job, a contract, a person, all right? Nine of swords energy at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be all up in their head about what? Nine of Swords, Nine of Coins. I feel like there's an ending to the stress. Thank you, Spirit. You're coming out of that. Yes, somebody's manifesting big time. Okay, manifesting big time. This is happening now. Look at this shit. All right, Eight of Swords, right? Coming out of it, realizing I'm not stuck. You went from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords because you trusted yourself, right? And went forward, even though you had to make a decision not knowing. I feel like this person, you know, realized they not stuck or... You know, they feel like, you know what, I'm going to take a chance to come out. You could be with an Aries, especially with the full. Aries has been coming up a lot in my reading, y'all, for real. Also, you know, 
I don't see any cups though. I don't see no cups out here. Not one fucking cup. This is like money. This is like somebody that's not connected to you emotionally. This is, oh, you see that shit? <laughs> This is going to bring in the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Coins. Yo, when you got both of the Tens out here, this is coming like somebody's coming in to hand you um, happiness, right? Because they're receiving some type of strong grounded offer. And this could be the motherfucking Emperor, okay? Aries, Virgo. Somebody could have Virgo and they charge strong. All right, this person is beating the odds. Why is this person coming in offering this to my collective? This landed. Look, didn't I say I ain't see no fucking cups? Didn't I say I ain't see no cups, y'all? Page of cups right here. Offer. Look, page of coins. Somebody might be having some kids, but I feel like with these two pages, this person is coming in with two friendly offers. They want to start something new in the love department, and they want to start something new in the business department. And I say that because you have two pages that also have the same suit of the two ten tens, okay? This is like, this is what they want. They want, they want these two this is what they want to grow, right? Show. And they starting it off right. <laughs> they manifesting that shit right. High priestess, you could be a Pisces. Wow. Your intuition is telling you you got good things coming in, all right? Um, Sagittarius is out here, okay? So let's talk about it real quick. Let me just see what Spirit wants to say because this is cute. This has been heavy in all my love readings, y'all. So this is like amplified on every level. Spirit is saying that a lot of you who see these messages, you know, trust trust and believe that this is happening, okay? Falling in love. I can't fucking make this up. This is a soulmate connection. The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to fall and be in love with this person. They come in innocently. They see you as they queen of pentacles right i'm picking up empress energy as well which you know the empress embodies any but this person wants to put you up on a pedestal sitting real pretty real protected okay let's go divine union okay congratulations this person's coming in with some gifts with some opportunities some stability some longevity okay you are going to be pay attention to the signs symbols and synchronicities soulmates or Often use music and songs as a telepathic aid in order to share spiritual messages and emotions with each other. And on that note, I'm ending it. If this resonated, Zeus says you know what to do. Bye.